what is absolutely popping my lollipops you already know it's your girl lola, lola and i'm back with another message please 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 make sure y'all take this message back to the lord most high in prayer it's really important and it'll be very significant <laughs> if you guys take this back to god because it'll really help especially with confirmation that's really what we need to ask God for, especially in this season. It's been a lot of confirmation, and that's what helps us know that God is the one talking. God is the one leading this because it keeps happening. There's no such thing as coincidence. So now this is like a extension to the last message I just put out, you guys. So God had made me realize that we had... um he has shown me this in plates, but I haven't looked back at these plates in a minute and he reminded me of them last night. This was after I had already filmed the video and I was telling myself, you know what? I'll film an entirely different video, just an extension of what God is saying and the confirmation that God had shared with me. So, first things first, we need to make sure that God is our only source, our only source. We get everything from God. Our direction is from God. Our conversation is from God. Who we even intermingle with is from God. He's the one that places these people in your life because each and every one of us that has given our life to Christ, right, has had that moment of isolation, just like the Israelites, uh, where they were in the desert, you guys, separated from everyone, and it was just literally them. So we also have to think about that moment of isolation that usually happens in our lives and let the Holy Spirit know that you are here and you are his only he is his only source he is your only source okay so the first plate number i saw it said i believe and it had the crosses on the left of it and immediately when i thought of it i know the holy spirit is talking to me in regards to doubt see there is doubt I'm telling you, lingering around in the spirit. And this doubt is causing you to lose out on the miracles and the greatness that God wants to pour upon your life. He's telling you to literally believe. This plate number says, I believe, and that's it. Once you believe something, once they say, oh, are you good, or that's good, you usually just believe it and move around, right? Or like, for example, I love to use this example where your parents told you to do something it's on your mind right but when they say never mind they've already done it it's already been done you believe that it's already been done so you let it go literally letting it go <laughs> i don't know who i'm talking to today but you need to understand that that doubt is eating up at your breakthrough it's eating up at your blessing because you're not truly resting on jehovah jireh you're not truly resting on our prince of peace now the other play number i then saw said live a new and it was a row of nines and i was like for it to be that clean stop it stop it <laughs> holy spirit you are welcome here forever and ever you are welcome here lord we give room for you oh yeah rest here in the name of jesus glory be to your holy name oh god it says live anew okay so when i saw this as i was like you know taking notes and stuff when i saw live anew you know what is blowing my mind is that God wants us to literally let go of what we are used to knowing. See, there is a particular way, and this individual knows themselves, there's a particular way you grew up and you felt like you couldn't really express yourself, right? And what the Holy Spirit is saying that you need to even unlearn all of that. You need to unlearn how people treated you. You need to unlearn how you were raised a little. Like, not everything. Don't go now losing it. But there's stuff that you need to unlearn. And these things that you unlearn, mm, major doors will be open onto your life because you are learning the right way to do things. 
the right way to love your neighbor, the right way to serve Jehovah, you know, the right way to be a giver, a lender, a, a borrower of none. See, and, and this is what God is leading and guiding us to do, to be a, to live anew. The Holy Spirit wants us to live anew, unlearn and relearn. Relearn what he has taught you. Relearn what the Bible says. Relearn his word. Write it upon the script, uh, upon the plates of your heart, you guys. And then this one, y'all, honestly, if you believe it, you believe it. But I believe it, okay? So I'm bringing it to y'all because I believe it, okay? Because I could as well keep this one to myself. So y'all know how I always tell y'all, whenever God speaks in regards to, like, relationship, marriage unions kingdom spouse he always uses the numbers one two three four or four three two one this one wasn't clean and clear but it was three one two four which was the order of numbers but the, what stood out to me was the letters that was next to it the letters was pyp and the first thing that came to my mind was p and this made me then think about what god had showed me earlier in my walk in regards to a, a union, kingdom, spouse, relationship, marriage, in response, in regards to that, and he and he showed me in this message it said C S E E, and now this play number says Peep. I don't know what God is trying to tell you, particularly about your situation, but He wants you to see something. Okay, He wants you to see this breakthrough take place. He wants you to see this anointing rest upon your mind. He wants you to see this anointing rest upon your relationship, your union. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Lord, take control. Take full control. Wow. So I pray for you that you will believe that the spirit of God will exit your life now in the name of Jesus. It will exit the premises now in the name of Jesus. You will live anew. You will live anew. I almost forgot to drop the scripture for today. Genesis chapter 22 verse 14. Genesis chapter 22, verse 14. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. It shall be seen. And the plain. Even the clouds are beautiful right now, you guys. God is so beautiful. God is so good. The plane was a, a wow, and a loud one too. God is good. So the the scripture says, and Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. Back in scripture, they used to have to give sacrifices. They used to have to build an altar. But Christ has told us that this is our altar, that Jesus is our sacrifice. So this very day, I pray that you receive this word, Genesis chapter 22, verse 14, and lean on Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, for he is definitely always there providing in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we ask that you help us to live anew, Help us to live anew. Help us to place you first. Help us to live as the person you have shaped us to be. Father God, help us to understand the teaching of your word and lean on that which you have taught us in the name of Jesus. Father, help us to know you as God and to serve you as God. Father, help us to go to you as our only source. Help us to lean on you as our only source. And Lord, that which you want to show us in our marriage, in our union, in our relationship, I pray that, Lord, you will help us to actually peep it. We will not miss it. We will not miss it. 
in the name of Jesus. We will peep it. We will see it in the name of Jesus. Glory be to your holy name, Heavenly Father. Have your way in Jesus' glorious mighty name. Amen. I also wanted to remind you guys that the official um, pre-order link will be open on the 8th of December. That is this Friday, you guys. Turn up. Get excited. So I'm very excited. Um, I can't wait to see you guys in the caps itself. Um, but we're doing pre-orders this month of december so if you guys would like to pre-order the link will be open and available and ready to go on the 8th of december mark your calendar get ready y'all i get paid on wednesday we ready okay all right <laughs> um i also wanted to make sure you guys are aware of how much I appreciate you guys' you know engagement how active you guys are I really do just want to bless you guys I pray that the Holy Spirit just rests upon everyone that comes across my face in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit will minister to them and they will never leave this channel the same way they came in the mighty name of Jesus Father every single one of these people these lollipops, these sweet people, Lord, they all belong to you. So, Father, have your way in Jesus' mighty name. If you have not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Y'all know we are suckers for Christ over here. Become a lollipop today. We got a weak spot for Christ Jesus over here. All right, you guys. God bless you all as you obey in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.